Welcome back and welcome if you are new here. My name is Kayla Iman and today we are going to be making a low carb pizza alternative. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe and let's get right into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 425 so that it is nice and heated by the time my pizza is ready to go in the oven. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start making our butter mixture that is going to be used to season our tortillas that we're gonna be using for our pizza bread. So I am adding Italian seasoning, I have pizza seasoning, I have minced garlic, I have black pepper, and then I also have chili. You can use whatever seasonings you would like to use to season your butter mixture. You don't have to use a butter mixture at all if you don't want to. This is all personal preference, but this is what I'm using. Once you get all the ingredients nice and added, you're gonna go ahead and give it a nice stir. Also, I did forget to mention earlier that for my base, I use salted butter. You can use salted butter, you can use unsalted butter, you can use uh, olive oil, you can use whatever you would like to use. My preference is salted butter. I should have done this step before making my butter mixture so that it would already be nice and heated, but go ahead and make sure that you heat your um, stove top and then go ahead and put your skillet or pan, whatever it is that you're gonna use to warm up your tortillas. I am using this grill skillet that I have here. And I'm also going to be adding buttered flavored spray to the um, skillet. Um, this is gonna add additional flavor and also to make sure it's non-stick, even though I know that it is a non-stick skillet, okay? <laughs> Don't forget your pizza sauce. Use whatever pizza sauce you like. I like Prego, and then I'm going to be using Mission Carb Balanced Flour Tortillas. Here I'm just showing you the nutrition facts for the tortillas that I am using. It has a total carbohydrates of 19 grams and it has dietary fiber, 15 grams. So your net um, carbs are going to be four grams. Again, you can use whatever tortillas you would like to use. If you're not looking for a low carb, you can use any type of tortillas that you would like to use, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and get our parchment paper non-stick um, along with your pan that you're gonna be using because this is going to be going into the oven. Remember that we did preheat the oven. So I go ahead and take my parchment paper and I put it on the pan. I always flip it the opposite direction because you know how it kind of curls up. I do that and then I'm gonna go in and also spray this with the buttered flavored cooking spray. Now that the pan is nice and heated, we're gonna go ahead and start preheating the tortillas. I am going in with the first one and I am putting them up there for about 30 seconds on each side and then I am flipping it. You're gonna see me grab another tortilla. I'm just checking the sizing um, just to make sure that it's not too much bigger or smaller than the other one, just so that it kind of evens out as a nice size piece, okay? So once the first one finished, I go in and I do the second one as well. With the second one, we go in and we let it sit for 30 seconds, then I flip it. Once I flip the second one though, I go in and I start adding my toppings and everything like that. So make sure that you keep that in mind. Once you flip the second one, go ahead and start adding your toppings. Now we're gonna go ahead and start dressing our pizza. First, I'm going in with the butter mixture that we use and I'm going to spread that all around. And make sure that you get that all over. Um, and this is only if you use the butter mixture. Again, you do not have to use the butter mixture. You can go ahead right in to start adding your toppings for your pizza. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and start dressing our pizza. I am going to first go in with my pizza sauce. Again, you can use you can use this in whatever order you would like. 
Um, I prefer to go ahead and start with my pizza sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my pizza sauce first. I'm going to do about two tablespoons of pizza sauce and just make sure I get that nicely spreaded. Um, I'm also going to be using jalapenos and cheese. Um, most cases I normally add, um, I'll cut up red bell peppers and um, I'll slice some onions. I'll cook those on the stove for a little bit and then I will add those in my pizza as well. But today I wanted to keep it pretty simple. So I only stuck with my traditional toppings. Um, I don't add anything like pepperoni or sausages or anything like that because I do eat a pescatarian diet. However, if that's what you would like to add, you can most certainly go in and add, again, whatever toppings you like. This is how I prefer to eat my pizza. But again, make the pizza according to how you like it. Add it whatever toppings you would like. Make sure you do not forget your cheese. I am using Sargento cheese. Um, I love this cheese. You can use whatever cheese that you like. I really want to get a dairy-free cheese. If you um, have a dairy-free cheese that you like or that you use, please mention it down below. I would definitely like to try it. I have used the Daisy brand before, but it came out kind of rubbery and I didn't really like it. So if you have another cheese outside of the Daisy cheese um, that is dairy-free that you would like to use, please mention it down below in the comments because I would most certainly love to try it. Okay, so once you get the first tortilla dressed, you can go ahead and throw on the second tortilla right on top of the first one and go ahead and dress this one as well. Um, you're gonna see me, I use the same toppings as I used on the original one. You don't have to use the same toppings. If you wanna add a different layer, you can most certainly do that. Again, make this pizza the way that you would like to make the pizza, okay? I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. However, I did forget. Um, I want to say that I love to give credit when credit is due. I did not come up with this idea. I did get this from another video that I watched, um, which is Thriftastic Mom. Um, she made a pizza for her husband, um, I think. And I, I love that idea. It was low carb. I said, I have to make this. and I want to make sure that I share it with people. The information for the original video will be down below in the description link if you would like to check out the original video. But again, I did not come up with this idea. I did get this from the Thriftastic Mom and I would like to thank her for sharing that video with us on YouTube because this is definitely my go-to. Um, this is a good personal pizza. So you're not overeating. It's enough for one person. I mean, you can split it in two and share it with someone else if you like, if you wanna make it for your kids and share it with your kids. You can do anything like that, but I like this because you don't overeat with this pizza and it is low carb. Um, once you finish, you don't feel the same as you do if you eat like a Pizza Hut pizza or a Domino's pizza. You are, um, you do get that um, feeling of being full. However, you don't get that bloated feeling and everything like that. At least I don't, but um, I just like this. This is good if you are, um, working on your diet, they're looking for healthier alternatives. I'm not saying that this is healthy, however it is healthier than your regular pizza. Now that we have the pizza fully dressed, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it over to our pan and go ahead and stick it into the oven. Your oven should be heated by now. If not, make sure that your oven is fully heated before you put it in the oven. Okay, so I let my pizza cook for about 10 minutes or bake for about 10 minutes. And then I end up turning on my broiler just because I like to get that uh, crispiness on the cheese. You know how the cheese kind of darkens and gets a little crispy a little bit. So I turned on my broiler, I turned it on high. You wanna definitely watch it. And once it's finished, this is what you get fresh out of the oven. Beautiful. And then we plate it, of course. Don't forget to comment below and let me know if you decided to try this. Again, thank you guys so much for watching.